Okay, so here we got all the parts that came in the box on the kitchen counter, and we're gonna set it up. First thing I'm gonna do is just put this to the side, because I don't need it right now. And I'm gonna take the arm brackets, and I'm gonna set them so these angles are opposite of each other. This helps to stabilize for later. Grab my four Allen keys for this side, place them there, and I'll start putting the Allen keys in with my hand. It comes with all the tools you need to put it together and looks like it's very well built. I'll just hand snipe these and then I'll snipe them up with the provided allen key. Do the same on this side. Okay, so once you've got your two stands set up, again, you want to make sure that this angle piece faces one direction and this angle piece faces the other direction. And then when you're putting these pieces on, you want to make sure that this piece goes on the same side as your angle pieces. So one of them is on the opposite side. This helps to stabilize it once you put it together. So to put the rollers on and the engine mount, we've got these two Allen keys here. And we grab a couple of these wing nuts, as my wife calls them. I'm going to set it on just the bottom, just uh, it's got a bunch of different settings. If you want to change the height, you can put the pin where you'd like to put it. Probably a good idea to put the wing nut on the outside so it's away from the heat. These just get hand tightened. They don't really are just, you don't have to really tighten them down. It's just the bolt holding it from, so just kind of snug them up and then that's all. So over here, I'll just show you how these go together. These are what the pig legs go onto. So this goes onto the, I think it's called the spit. Too sure, but the bar. That goes onto here like that. And then these go through here. And they get attached with the wing nuts on the other side. I'm gonna leave them off because we're gonna be rotating it and it's, I don't have a pig attached to it, so it's just gonna make a bunch of noise. So we'll leave those off, but that's how you put those on. And we'll put these on, and so these go inside. And they attach with these wing nuts. The electric motor has these tabs on here and they go over top of this and it slides down just like that. And then on the shaft, it has a hole here. You can see that. And that basically slides in. There's two of these. The kit comes with two of these. One's a spare. It's just got a little Allen key on it. And it goes right into there. Get 
There's a small Allen key that comes with it. Since that one down tight. Okay. So if you look down here, there's just rollers inside of these. And then there's a rollers inside of where the bar sits on the other side. I'm sure it's going to be plenty sturdy enough for uh, smaller pigs, smaller roasts. I've just got an on switch on the back here and we'll give it a go. Cool. Well, like I said, these things here as well would be on there. And that's what the pig's arms and legs would get connected to as well. It also comes with four pegs. I probably won't ever use these. This is for mounting it into the ground. We plan on actually getting a proper pan and maybe setting this up on some wheels so we can move it around. But it does come with uh, some aluminum pegs for pegging the stand into the ground. Motor's nice and quiet. So yeah, pretty pleased with it so far. I can't wait to try it. Put it on a, it would help with some charcoal and uh, roast some stuff on it.